Hey guys, it's Shrek, and this blaster shoots three darts. Three darts make a triangle. Triangle, three darts, triangle. Luminati confirmed. Oh no! So all hilarity aside, this is the Nerf Rebel Luminati, which is a three-shot smart AR blaster with a Springer uh, chamber in the back with a keyring style draw and what appears to be some sort of light up switch. So I think that it's going to be a slightly improved version of the Messenger, which is one of the, the better Rebel blasters today, if not the best, as it, uh, it was kind of like a triad strike and people really liked it a lot. So we're going to go ahead and start freeing the Luminati. But claiming range is up to 85 feet, comes with three Luminati glow-in-the-dark darts. It stinks that it only comes with three of these darts and they look really sweet. Uh, I think that we're glowing exclusively the dart tip in the Luminati, not the dart body. But we'll find out later when we do an indoor firing segment with uh, some low light settings. So the blaster will stock require three AAA batteries which I'm almost positive are going in the bottom here. You'll need a Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, immediately blaster is a little bit tight, but otherwise very comfortable. I actually really like this forward guard. It gives the Luminati a really interesting aesthetic to it that uh, is, I don't know, like it's combining the Rebel aesthetic and some of the Charmed line stuff with just pure performance. So I think that Definitely going to be getting regular messenger style performance, which is good. It looks like this is a semi-transparent window here. It stinks that the Nerf Rebel logo is on it on it because it'll be difficult to remove that. But I think that we'll get some glow in this chamber and then I think that we'll get glow coming out of here. I really like the crystalline kind of trigger here. It reminds me of some sort of polycarbonate stuff. Similar to what we do in homemades, but just the overall profile of the Luminati is aggressive. It's got a forward heavy design as it tapers towards the rear, which is really, really cool. It's like fitted to its internals. I can tell you right now, this is the Triad Smart AR block into a slightly compacted plunger tube a la Night Finder. So I think that this is gonna be a really sweet performance blaster and I'm very excited to do a modifications guide for it, as well as maybe some, uh, some internal work where we replace whatever its LEDs are with either UV or blue LEDs, depending upon what will work better. So on the back we have the justifications for the undoubtedly inaccurate 85 foot range claims. And I'm gonna go ahead and free these darts real quick. That was very fast. Uh, definitely stoked not to see the Secrets and Spies gimmick uh, persisting as I didn't really like all of the decoder junk and it added to the, the MSRP unnecessarily. Whereas like the LED gimmicks, I'm all about the LED gimmicks. I think that they are sweet. So we'll fire this three times and we'll see what kind of ranges we're getting with a flat shot. Um, very nice standard elite performance. It's about a 30, 30, 35, somewhere between 35 and 40, we'll do a few angled. And I can see if the wind caught it right, we would definitely be getting into that 70 foot range. How they're justifying 85 is beyond me. Blaster has a nice weight profile and spins well, grip is comfortable. And if you've seen my messenger review, you know that I like this style of blaster. In fact, some people even use them in the NIC as sidearms because while it is much lower range than a night finder, it is in fact um, three shots as opposed to working a speed loader. So they can be very, very cool in a variety of formats and I highly recommend this blaster because it looks ultra sweet. This is just a really cool swoop in the grip and I like the overall very elegant, very uh, form factor. I guess it's, it's a toned down almost sci-fi feel that the Luminati has and I like that a lot. So let's take a look at it in the dark, fire it a few more times and see what we think of the glow feature since that is the primary differentiator between this and just buying a regular messenger. So after installing three AAA batteries lickety split, you find that the LED is not quite a UV LED, but just a, a purple or bluish LED that doesn't actually do anything with this super cool panel. It's just designed to make the, the dart tips glow. So not the dart body, even though the barrels seem to be some sort of clear blue uh, ABS plastic. So that's kind of a shame, but I will show you in a lower light setting that this is what the blue glow looks like. It's got a very predator kind of feel. If I close this and remove all ambient light, that's what it looks like. Almost kind of like a dude screaming at you with a bright glowing purple nose, but I'm getting a little silly with it. That's what the glowing feature looks like. Uh, very simple to actuate, just a quick switch, turning these three AAAs into current all the way up through here. The wires run up, around, up, and through. 
Very, very simple, reminds me a lot of a Night Finder, and I honestly am kind of disappointed. Glow Tech used to be a lot cooler with stuff like the Firefly in particular with its solenoid light up at the top to light an entire glow dart. And then even the Raven has integrated a uh, glow tech into the, the clips, and I think that that's really, really cool. So that's the, the Luminate or the Luminati's um, LED tech, and I think that that'll complete the review. Overall, I think this is a very impressive blaster, and I like it a lot. I like everything from the form factor to the gimmick, but I think that it definitely could benefit from some modifications. So that's, uh, I guess, my opinion on it. I will put an Amazon link in the description box below so that you can pick one up for your own. Uh, thanks for watching.